keeping in touch with your friends so much you want them to know exactly where you are at all times, now they can. Facebook has a new feature called Places, which lets you do just that. It's uh, something that some other services offer as well. It's called geotagging. Basically, all you need here is a smartphone and, of course, a couple of friends to broadcast your location to. But this you now ubiquitous technology has a lot of people asking if it's safe, especially when your kids are involved. Technology expert Katie Linendahl is here with the answer. So basically, this lets you tell people where you are at all times, but how does it actually work? Right, and this is an exploding trend in the mobile arena particularly, and all you do is you can actually share your location wherever you are with a cell phone, and your friends can see the vocab is check in. They can see where you've checked in. You can see where your friends are at, and a lot of people maybe not know about these applications, but they've probably heard of them. Foursquare, GoWalla, Twitter has location-based services, and now, of course, last week, Facebook Place is launched, and for a site, Facebook, that we know has 500 million users, this is huge huge. It's huge because it lets so many people know. So basically with that smartphone, it's yes. just the GPS in there. Exactly. And it'll pinpoint your location. Exactly. So using that cell phone's GPS, what it does is it can actually pinpoint your exact location. So I can look on a map and see where I can showcase where I am and share that with my friends and my network. And I can also see where my friends are. So say I check into Starbucks. It's not going to say, oh, you're at Starbucks. It's going to show exactly where I am on a map. Okay. Which could be great. But right. for a lot of parents, and even for myself, I'm sitting here thinking, this could also be really, really creepy and dangerous. Really dangerous. And I always say, like, location-based services, it, broadcasting your location to an entire network of people isn't always a good thing. If I say that I'm in, like, on vacation in Los Angeles for a week, that also says that my place is completely empty for a week. If you have somebody kind of semi-cyber stalking you or somebody upset with you, you say that you're going to be out at the mall, you know what? Not always a good idea. Also because some of these, as we know, we've talked about this in the past, but Facebook, for people who use Facebook, they constantly update their privacy settings and you're not yes. always aware of it. And so sometimes without your knowledge, all of a sudden you're broadcasting your information to more people than you want to. Inadvertently. Something that is good about Facebook Places, and they've really hit, uh, nailed it this time around, because of course we've seen over the past few years, they've been under the gun with privacy issues. This is an opt-in feature. Okay. And if your friends are going to say, hey, I'm out with you, and tag you, as they call it, they act, you actually have to confirm that. But what's really interesting, in a lot of smartphones, if you're sending a picture text, what a lot of people don't realize is there's little crumbs of data, and there's actually geotagging in each photo that you take take. So even if you're not broadcasting your location, if you just put a photo up on Twitter or Facebook, sometimes that information, your exact latitude and longitude is attached to that photo. Wow. A lot of people don't realize that they're inadvertently sharing their location without broadcasting it. And that's a feature that you can disable on your phone too. It just is, go into absolutely. the options on your phone and you can take off that mm -hmm. geotagging for your pictures. So kids obviously in most cases are a lot more tech savvy than their right. parents. They probably love the idea of this. I can meet up with my friends at the mall. It's scary for parents as we just talked about. Do kids get uh, sort of the danger factor here? It's tricky. You know, kids obviously are more tech savvy than the older generations. But what they need to realize is sometimes saying, hey, you know, I'm going out with a friend, going to be out at the mall, to them isn't as scary. But to somebody that's in their 50s, they might realize the repercussions that could happen from this. So what do you say to your kids? I mean, do you just say you're not allowed to use it? The key, or, yeah, the key is really just wrapping your head around all of these technologies and understanding each one of them is different and each one of them has different privacy settings. So if you at least know the keywords, know what Foursquare is, know what GoWalla is, Facebook and Twitter, and know what they do, and maybe sit down with your kid and go through the privacy settings to make sure that they are protected, I think that is a great step in the right direction. We talk we talk a lot about the dangers, but there also are or could be some real advantages to this totally. for certain people. Exactly. There's a lot of positives that come with this. I don't want to be like Debbie Downer and right? talk bad about it. It's <laughs> Your time. There are some great things. And of course, there's these serendipitous meetups. You know, if you're out grabbing coffee and somebody's two blocks away, you can see that on the map. And if you're out at a huge concert, what if five of your friends are there? Kind of a big deal, but I think my favorite one is incentives, and this is why this is extremely growing in terms of mobile applications. People, retail shops, bars, and uh, stores are now offering incentives. Places like Macy's and Starbucks and Do uh, Domino's and Pizza Hut are giving free gifts if you check into their places often. Like right now, so you Kodoba, just go there and I say, okay, I'm here, and then I can get some sort of a benefit to it, which is great. Exactly. Really quickly, yeah. This is not just for kids, though. Adults could use this, and I imagine for some business people, it could have some. It's really intuitive, and I think that's the best part about it is once you download the program and you understand how easy it is, it's incredibly simple to understand. And going back to those incentives, like it's funny right now, a big trend is there's a burrito giveaway at Cadoba. So check in at all these places and get some free stuff. There you go. <laughs> Katie, always good to have you with us. Thanks for breaking Thank it down. Thank you.